although not a superpower, Sweden possesses a respectable defense industry. During the 20th century, Sweden developed many top-notch weapons and proved itself to be excellent in this field. One of the most interesting and innovative Swedish designs never exported, the self-propelled gun Ben Cannon 1. Only 26 vehicles were built. It still holds the records for being the fastest fire artillery system of its caliber. While the Ben Cannons were never exported and were phased out of service in 2003, the legacy of their magazine-style loading system lies on Swedish new archer artillery system. According to a national interest, Ben Cannon 1 was built in the context that Sweden during the Cold War needed to modernize its artillery force. And although multiple large rocket systems such as the Soviet BM-21 Gret or the American-made M270 was a trend at that time, the Swedish army still wanted to use more traditional artillery due to economic benefits. In addition, Swedish military researchers at that time also realized from the experience of Soviet artillery gained from World War II. The rapid rate of fire is an important factor because the highest level of casualties caused by shells is often at the beginning of the attack when enemy soldiers have not yet reached their bunkers. Swedish experts, when creating Ben Cannon 1, equipped with this vehicle with a very advanced loading system with 14 shells available in the magazine and one ready to fire in the barrier. Thanks to that, Ben Cannon 1 could continuously fire 15 shots within 45 seconds, something that no other self propelled gun in the world could do at that time. The magazine could then be reloaded with a built-in hoist in about two minutes. Each shell had a weight of 47 kilograms and a tactical range of 28 kilometers. A 7.62 mm MAG machine gun is installed in the roof for self-defense. A tower of an unusual design was placed at the rear of the hall. The hood was divided into two side buildings with crew seats and equipment. The self propelled gun carried a 155mm M60 rifle howitzer with a muzzle brake and a semi-automatic board. Vertical guidance was carried out remotely with the ability to fire at large elevation angles. Behind the bridge of the gun, there was a magazine for 14 unitary shells in a replaceable clip. The gun could fire directly or from a close position, for which it had appropriate size. In the Ben Cannon C modification, an improved navigation system was introduced that simplified topographical reference. The crew of the self-propelled guns included five people. The driver was located in the hull, directly in the front of the turret. The two halves of the turret were manned by a gunner, a commander, and two loaders. The latter were responsible for the operation of the automatic loader, loading ammunition, etc. The total length of the Ben Cannon 1 self propelled gun in the stall position reached 11 meters. At the same time, not only the muzzle of the gun protruded beyond the hull, but also the rear magazine with shells. While this incredible rate of fire was definitely an advantage, to achieve it, the Ben Cannon made significant compromises. 
the hull vigor was incredibly heavy for its time, weighing in excess of 40 tons. Its chassis was based on a lengthened Street Van 103 with one extra road wheel. Combined with relatively weak engines, this meant that the band cannon could not move rapidly off-road or on-road. The first variant, the Ben Cannon 1A, used the same engine as the first Street Van 103s and was thus somewhat underpowered since that engine was designed to drive a 30-ton tank, while the Ben Cannon 1 weighed over 50 tons. Despite this, its mobility was more than adequate for its role as an artillery piece. The increase in fire characteristics gave the self-propelled gun a number of important advantages. Thus, the overall fire efficiency of both one vehicle and the unit has increased. The time spent at the firing position has been reduced which has reduced the risk of falling under return fire. At the same time, detecting the position was quite difficult even when using radar equipment. By the time the projectile trajectory was reliably and accurately calculated, the self propelled gun had already begun to fold before leaving the position. Unlike traditional manually loaded howitzers, the amount of charges could not be altered for the band cannon due to the unitary nature of its ammunition. This limited its flexibility in employment, especially in closer targets. The plan was produced about 70 vehicles, but due to defense budget cuts only 26 Bankran ones were manufactured. They were used as divisional artillery in Norland, used by Borden Artillery Regiment and later Norbotten Regiment. They were organized in two battalions of 12 vehicles each until the late 1980s, and after that, three battalions of eight vehicles each until the band Cannon 1 was discontinued in 2003.